now in this tutorial i am going to show you about php multidimensional array okay in our previous tutorial we have complete about php associative query so let's go php multidimensional array a multidimensional array is an array that can holding or containing one or more arrays in a single array okay php multidimensional array is advanced level you will learn more but here i will show you some basics about multidimensional array but in my advanced level tutorial i will discuss about it later again okay anyway let's go to see the live first open to jam control panel start go to folder directory jam where you have installed your jam huh? copy the folder name edit with notepad plus plus open your browser write localhost slash your folder name okay it's a previous tutorial anyway multi-dimensional array now uh, suppose remove it here declare a php block okay here suppose declare a variable suppose info here first write a array key we already know multi-dimensional array is an array that can holding or containing one or more array in a single array okay so here you can write again array here use a comma first write a array then use first bracket then semicolon then this is the first this is the main array okay and this and these are element of this array so here you need to use the comma suppose write php java python anyway control plus d to double the line suppose here write green yellow red okay suppose here write 100 200 300 i am writing it just example to show you control plus d to double the line suppose here now write a some name suppose john doe suppose dick anyway this is the name okay you can see this is our multi-dimensional array first declare a variable where we have assigned our multi-dimensional array first write a array this is our main array and this is our main array element or indexed it will counted from we already know that array indexed counted from zero so this is the zero number index and this is the one number index this is this index number is 2 0 1 2 and this index number is 3 so we have a 4 index that will be start from 0 1 2 3 i mean 0 index number 1 index number 2 index and number 3 index then again this index value will be start from 0 0 value uh, sorry z number 0 index number 1 and number 2 we can see each array we have a three value index okay that will be start from 0 1 2, 0 1 2 so how to print this value okay first suppose write echo then your variable then use third bracket i hope you already know here you can see this is our main index okay and this is our main index element so first index is 0 then 1 0 1 2 3 okay so first index we want to print suppose java so use first index our is 0 then use again bracket then here write this is our 0 index this is our 0 index we have catch here now again our value index number so value index will be start from 0 1 2 so we want to print java so 0 1 here just write 1 okay use semicolon refresh your browser you can see java is printed okay if you want to print the red suppose if you want to print red so how to do it first catch the index of array this is our main index so first need to the array index number we can see this array index number is 0 1 so here right is 1 this index number will be this index number okay and then the 
then this index number will be the this value index number okay so here we can see our rate is number one index okay zero one so we have right here one and our rate index number is zero one two so here just write two okay refresh your browser you can see rate is printed okay rate is printed if you want to print the dig this name so how to do it first catch the index number this index number is 0 1 2 3 so here index number will be 3 okay then the value number is 0 value index number is 0 1 2 so here we have write already 2 refresh your browser you can see dick is printed dick is printed okay i hope you can easily understand also how to do all is printed suppose we have print from here suppose 0 and then the index number is 1 you can write some message here just concatenate operator if you don't know how to concat please check my previous tutorial i will highly recommend to see my all tutorial according to my serialization okay you will easily understand my all tutorial in anyway, just a light just language okay i have write it language this is a language index here will be all language will be printed i am writing first variable info then index number zero zero then index number is one okay then concate then a space then here just write again info okay here will be zero first zero index zero index then will be first index zero okay zero one two so if you want to print php just write zero okay zero index zero value okay then again zero index zero index number one value i mean java then again a space then again write suppose zero index and in the value index number is zero one two here just write two okay refresh your browser you can see languages php java and python okay so as like as same here you can concate a break html break okay here just copy this line here number two index i mean zero one number one index here just write the index number one okay then the value is zero will be printed then index number here just suppose write one and the index number will be one yellow index number one and the value number is one okay zero one zero one zero one and then zero one okay one and one and then again zero in one index sorry zero index it and its number one index zero one okay so zero zero index uh, sorry one index number one index then value number is two i mean zero one two rate will be printed refresh your browser you can see if you write here suppose color color you can easily understand you can see language is php java python color is green yellow red you can see php java python green yellow red according this way you can print all area okay but here you can also run a loop okay you can see if you print this all array you need a too much code okay if you if you have a huge indexed here you need a too much code but if you write here the loop it will the easy solution to print all the element or array indexed in a short code okay so write first for code so here first catch here the index this is our main air index or main array and this is our element of this main array okay this index will be counted 0 1 2 3 we can declare is uh, we can declare this as a column sorry row number one row number two row number three row number four row. so here just write suppose row row equal to start will be start from zero it will start from zero one two three this is a row we can imagine it okay suppose it's a row so 
to declare a variable row initialize zero. I mean it will start from zero, then row will be less than okay, less than zero, one, two, three. We have a four indexed one, two, three, four. It will be less than four. Okay. Then then row will be post increment. Okay. Sorry. Post increment. So here just echo echo this row. Suppose I write a uh, h3 tag h3 tag I mean my all row number will be print between h3 tag okay here just write h3 okay now our all index number is printed here I mean 0 1 2 3 according this serialization it will be printed here now again we need suppose echo a echo ul we will use ul okay html ul then echo here suppose write echo close the ul okay we will print our all value into the ul li okay ul li tag here echo ul echo ul close okay ul html tag ul closing tag here again declare a for loop here we have already write a for loop again here write for loop okay for now here we will catch our indexed value okay this index value php java python yellow rate here how to write how to catch it suppose we have imagined that our all index as a row number one row number two number three as like as a row so we can imagine this value is a column php green 100 john java yellow 200 dui as like as a column okay as like as a column so here you can write suppose call i am writing it suppose call equal to zero it will count it from zero zero one two okay start from zero then again call less than okay less than we can see here our value all value is one two three okay so it will less than three call equal to zero call equal to three less than zero it will start from zero and it will uh, run up to less than three and it will be post increment okay here you can write please notice to it attentively okay first declare a for each loop then we have print our all indexed under the main index as a row okay into the html h3 text then again we have print a ul an order list of html tag then we have again write a for loop okay here we have print all value this is the zone 120 yellow etc here here will be start suppose I write call call equal to zero call equal to less than three one two three and it will be post increment here just write suppose ul then we need a li okay suppose here write echo print here just write suppose html li ul we have write so we must need li okay otherwise it will not be formatted okay li close you can write or close it concatenate it okay li and li close okay we have concat each other by concatenation operator here just write info here just write variable info where you have assigned your multi-dimensional array then use double third bracket or bracket first your row number okay first your row number then here your column value okay row and column first here will be printed the row number then here will be printed the column number refresh your browser you can see number one index you can see here is three we have write into is three it will start from zero okay zero it will start the all row one two three four okay you can see our one two three four index four column number one zero 
PHP Java Python that will be that will take the HTML list tag you can see HTML list tag okay you can print anything uh, any tag I have right just showing to you easily understand that you can see it's take HTML li ul li tag you can see PHP Java Python first our PHP Java Python then green yellow red is our second row our second row green yellow red okay multi-dimensional array is a advanced level array okay you need to learn more about it but this is the basic theme you will get more tutorial about it so okay thank you